This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. Hi there once again. Kids heading back to school need to stay energized and alert. It's hard when they're finally getting up early. So here with great ideas on meals for students is the creator and host of NPR's Nutrition Matters, nutritionist Daniela Chase. It's good to see you. Good to see you. I am so excited about this because frankly, any of us can learn from this, right? Oh, we yeah. want to be alert. We want to be awake. That's so right. let's start with breakfast. All right, let's start with breakfast. So um, I brought today some Bob's Red Mill oatmeal. And what I wanted to show you about this is um, oatmeal can be a vehicle for all sorts of good things. You it can, put, can indeed. <laughs> yeah, lots of antioxidants that we can put on top. So we can put lots of berries. I put some grapes here, some raspberries. Um, but one little trick that we've just figured out recently is that um, Bow Hill blueberries, and you know, we were just talking about blue hair, blueberries. Blueberries, because we both love them. <laughs> yes. Um, Bow Hill is a local company, and they have mm -hmm. a big blueberry farm with these um, heirloom blueberries just up north of here. And they're doing this blueberry powder that has 86 blueberry skins per tablespoon. Wow. So it's a way to add antioxidants in. Like, that's the amount of antioxidants that's in a salad, you know? So really? if you have a picky kid who's not eating veggies, mm -hmm. and it's really critical to get the antioxidants. That that's what that is. That is so beautiful. If you too. get this into their diet in the morning, they're going to be able to think better. It gets the inflammation down that's caused by all the stress. And and sugar in right. our diets. So um, what we did here is we mixed some xylitol, which mm -hmm. is a, um, it's a non-carbohydrate sweetener. It's not synthetic. It's natural from a birch tree. And we mix that with blueberry um, powder and with cinnamon. And cinnamon's an antioxidant that right. reduces inflammation also. And then you get the sugar out of this, which is generally what happens with oatmeal. Is yes, a pound exactly. Of brown sugar on it. The xylitol, can you show us that package and show us what it oh, looks yeah, like if we're going to try you. to find it? Mm -hmm. um, where do you get this? Do you have to go to a health Co -ops store? Co-ops have it. Uh, most grocery stores have it in the baking aisle. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And yeah. then it has instructions on how to use it instead of sugar for Pretty baking Pretty much just things? like you would use sugar. Really? Yeah, it's that wonderful cool. stuff. Okay. All right, so I've been mixing it into oatmeal. You know, you just mix it right in it. It just dissolves right in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've also been adding it to things like yogurt, Yum. which is really beautiful. And I think the same combination works really great in yogurt. Um, so you can kind of see here with a little bit of um, yogurt. When you add just this, you see how purple the um, right. blueberry is? It gets this gorgeous color. This almost looks kind of... looks so yummy. Yeah, look it looks... That. Doesn't that look good? And when you're buying the unsweetened yogurt, um, you know, the, the really high protein, the Greek yogurts, they're right. not very sweet. And adding a little bit of xylitol really helps. You know, kids just think of it more like ice cream. They're not going to know the difference, yeah. what made it sweeter. So you could just right. mix up a bunch of this yes. and have it ready for That's breakfast. That's right. Absolutely. Can I have a, a bite just to yeah, see what it tastes it. like? Yeah, try it. I'll tell you the <laughs> truth. That looks so good. I'm a yogurt fan, so... And this is cultured coconut milk, so it's a vegan, um, wow. a vegan yogurt uh, made with coconut and antibiotic, or sorry, probiotics. Right. Oh my gosh, that yeah. really is good for you, and that's tasty. Okay. okay. What are we doing with the toast? Oh, so you can also use the same powder right on toast instead of making just cinnamon toast with um, butter and. Um, and sugar, you know, you can make it with right. the xylitol. So, so tell us about the sugar creates inflammation in yeah. our bodies. We know that that's like an aging factor and you don't feel well. What does it do to kids? The same thing. So it's going to affect their ability to think clearly. And uh, it makes them foggy brained. Uh, it's the number one cause of fatigue. So when kids get tired at school or kind of that food coma after eating a lot mm -hmm. of treats or um, um, from anxiety, anxiety creates the inflammation too. Right. And so this helps cool all of that off. Interesting. Yeah. All right, that's very important. Shall we move to lunch? Sure. <laughs> and uh, one other without tip. pausing, just <laughs> breakfast to lunch. One other tip, though, about the antioxidants. Um, most of us have what when we think we're actually gaining weight, we're really getting inflammation. It's water weight, and um, the antioxidants help us drop that water weight. So interesting. Yeah, feels okay. nice. That's so good. lunch. I wanted to show you how to make a really quick, easy tuna fish sandwich that works way better for packing in lunches. So I started here with a can of tuna. I love this Wild Planet. I don't know if you've ever seen these. I haven't. Um, um, it's really important these days to use small fish, not large fish, because um, they have the lowest amount of um, toxins. You know, they're smaller, um, large albacore tuna, um, any of the bigger tuna are high in mercury now and okay. plastics and from the ocean, you know, from the toxins. So um, the skipjack tuna is a smaller fish and, um, and also you can get cans of um, sardines and um, I have a few of them over here too right. from the same company, the skipjack. They do line, um, line caught and pole caught fish so they're not um, damaging other animals in the ocean. 
you know, with the nets and yeah, catching awesome. the dolphin. Yeah, awesome. We'll put that up on our website and make sure people know where to get it. Yeah, I just love this. So what we're going to do is just start out with the tuna fish, then you can pour the olive oil over okay. it. So instead of using, all of it? Yeah, all of it. So instead of using mayo, and if you'd mix it up for us, okay. um, instead of mayo, which actually doesn't do very well outside of the refrigerator. Right. So by lunchtime, you have a funny <laughs> smelly you <salad>. do. <laughs> so if you add olive oil, what it does is it coats the fish. It doesn't smell like fish anymore. Right. It tastes so good. And you really get that fresh fish flavor. And then um, let me just show you a little trick with the fork. Um, so to get lemon juice on there, you just stick it right into the lemon and just squeeze. Okay. And then you've got your lemon juice and I'll let you finish mixing Alrighty. that. And then we just add a little bit of salt. Oh, I love those little things. We do. Those are so cute. And a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. And then you've got it. And, and then, then we've got our sandwich. And then we've got our sandwich. And, and do, I, do I need to, oops, it all fell out. <laughs> um, do we need to make the sandwich to show it how show how we're going to pack it up? Um, actually, we have another sandwich in here to Great. show you. So we this can just was just a stunt sandwich. <laughs> a stunt okay. sandwich. But I did want to tell you about the bread. So it's really hard to find a bread that kids will eat. Um, so often they're like, oh, there's something crunchy, and I don't know what it is. You know, nuts and seeds in there, and they want the crust off. But what we found is that... Um, that Dave's Killer Bread, they make this oh, wonderful yeah. white bread. It's not bleached, no GMOs, no dough conditioners. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? No. Um, so it's something to always read labels for because it means that there's bromine in there. Bromine is in fire retardants. It's very toxic, it, it affects our thyroid. Um, so you want organic bread so that you're not having exposure to that. Always look for the organic label and non-GMO. Non-GMO, okay, very but good. this white bread is not bleached and it's soft and kids love it. Great, so, so we only have a few seconds to so okay. show us how to pack it up. So this this is really fun. Um, so I, love these this, I know it's these little Japanese containers. Kids know these now from all those Miyazaki mm -hmm. films. They mm -hmm. always see them. And um, when they get to school, they've got basically three little bowls here. So we put the sandwich in the top here. Great. And then um, the crunchy stuff. Yeah, inside. crunchy stuff. Low sugar cookies. Oh, and then some little fruits, and so they have their three little bowls out in front of them. But and then nothing is you know plastic to throw away. That's and right. Nothing and is, you can throw these in the soggy. dishwasher. That is such yeah. a great idea. And do we get these online? Um, actually, I got mine at the co-op. I don't okay. know where you get them, but probably you can just go to Amazon. And then I just discovered this. 5050 is a company. It's in Portland. This is a double-walled stainless steel, which is non-toxic. Mm -hmm. It'll keep your food hot for 24 hours. So you can take soup with you to school. That is great. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll put all of this up on um, our website so okay. people can find it. But we really appreciate it. You've, all right. you've sold me on the blueberry stuff. Okay. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Impressive progress has been made on food allergies when Wellness Wednesday continues. We'll tell you all about it.